What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how to make a death cart and we are using an A86 but same principle applies for basically any chassis. You'll just have to switch up where you cut it and you know figure something out. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut it there, cut it right along that body line, get rid of the the whole wheel well and then we're going to cut it somewhere right behind the rear axle. We're going to make filler plates, got to do the whole, the whole roll cage. And then for the front end, we, for the front end on this, we are going to cut it there and all the way down at the bottom. Just, just leave the factory frame rails and the rest is going to be tubed. The Upper plates, I'm going to use the plasma table, but you could just hand plasma cut them or whatever, drill them, however you, however you want to do it. So we're going to show you how to cut it the right way and not trash everything to shit while you're doing it. All right, you're going to want your lines like super straight so you don't have to go back over and cut it like five times over again. So just cut it up. Uh, you know, there-ish, and then like there, do a little cut there, slice, chop. No, all right, don't do that. Straight cut, just get one clean cut right along the bottom, even though my Sharpie ain't working, but you get the idea. And then we're gonna come from the inside, chop right here. Right along that, just do it, you know, first shot. No need to cut it like five times. And then probably we're going to drop the gas tank and then just one, one swoop right across there. And that should, that should be good for the front and then the, or for the rear. And then the front is simple. Make sure you got the biggest <laughs> boy leaking. We aight. She got some kick on her now, watch out. Carefully remove the dash. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the driver's side. Flawless. Flawless. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys want, like this video and I'll post a DIY on how I did that. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, yeah, no. You just go Wisconsin? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, don't no. you know? Don't you know? I don't know any Wisconsin YouTubers. So it doesn't matter where you start cutting, it all needs cut. Um, I just use a sawzall for basically everything. And I'm using way too big of a sawzall blade right now. Try to just use like just big enough for whatever you're cutting through. These long boys work great to just cut through all the layers of the back. But for this, you got a giant thing flopping around. You guys don't know how to handle that, so. usually does. Oh, that's nice. Flawless. Yeah, that's real nice. Self leveling. Get yours today. That's sideways, Fab. Put that in a pile of stuff to keep. And back here, since I'm chopping it off here anyways, the cut back here doesn't matter at all. But then it starts to matter right about here. So that's when I'm going to start to clean it up. Right about that zone. Whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Just cut it. It's a fucking death cart, dude. <laughs> Like a banana. Mm -hmm. I don't like spice. No good man does. And you're going to want to make sure you, I had to go over it a couple times just to make sure I got all of this stuff. You can't really see it, so I just kind of run the sawzall back and forth a couple times and make sure everything's sliced. When I was just picking it up, I missed this little, this little guy. No big deal. And then, now we're going to go back and clean up all the cuts. Chop it off right there. And... Do some tube work. So I cut this one a little bit long. Um, I'm gonna bring it right back, probably either flush with this or just a little flange, like where the pinch weld is under there. Um, so I left it a little long just so I can see my cut and so I can get rid of these fuel lines and whatever, get them out of my way. But next up, I'm going to cut right along here and then probably just like right to there. And then this will get plated That'll get plated. Roll cage is probably going to mount right there to the main hoop. That's what a broken sawzall blade looks like. So 
that's it for this portion of the how-to part of this cart build that I'm doing. Um, if you liked it, give me a like. Shoot me a comment if you think I should do anything. Subscribe to me because you love me. Um, I'm going to be kind of showing you a little bit more, but that's kind of the main death cart specific thing. If you're going to be building roll cage or you're going to be building the roll cage on a death cart, you should kind of know how to build a roll cage anyways because, you know, safety stuff. Um, so that's all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll probably just go over it a little bit just to cover the differences between a car roll cage and a death cart roll cage. But keep an eye out for those, and I love you.